Hello, welcome to Roadrunner Predictions. Uh, today we're going to be heading to the Sunbelt Conference for a matchup between uh, University of South Alabama versus Troy. Uh, for the rest of this video, I'm going to refer to University of South Alabama as USA. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my pick right away, and then I'll get right back into things. My prediction is USA plus 15. And that is very hard to come up with, and it's very hard to... Uh, actually go with that pick because on paper it looks really scary but there's a hidden element that hopefully I can get you to see. Uh, stick around for the rest if you want to know more about why I broke it down and how it kind of panned out to be that. Um, yesterday we ended up going 1-0 and to start so that's good so month of October I'm 1-0 in the NFL by half a point. Uh, two horrible calls by officials, uh, hands to the face, it was not, and I'm a Packers fan, and I'm, I'm telling you that. It was total BS calls. It really does ruin the amount of the game. I'm not saying the Packers still couldn't have came back and won. I'm just saying it's just a crapshoot, and you hate to see that. Uh, NFL's, I think it is a little bit better than last year and the year prior, but it's still far from being fixed, and I don't know. It's just a little disturbing. But, I mean, I'm only even mentioning it or complaining about it because I still hit if I would have complained about it and I missed, then I'm a poor sucker, but I'm not doing that. So we start off 1-0 in the NFL, but now we're going to go to the college. And uh, college is one of my strongholds, too. Football in general is, but uh, I also do baseball and hockey, and I'm um, secondary on basketball. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, break some things down and get you some stats here, because we all like them. Um, both teams are from Alabama. Uh, Troy's favored by 15. The over-under is 55. Um, I'm going to go here. Troy has beaten USA four out of seven times. So they hold four wins. USA holds three over Troy. Um, the trend set that uh, Troy should win by a close feat, but they're a little bit better than previous with their Parker is their quarterback. I mean, he is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and say I think this game is going to be around 27 to 17. And uh, the skew point that I wanted to mention is kind of at the end of the video, but uh, uh, USA overall ranked is 122, and Troy's overall rank is 91. Anything over kind of in the 70s is kind of hard to dictate. If you think about how hard it is to even come up with a top five or top ten. Imagine going all the way into 130 teams. It gets really dicey towards the end because any one of those guys can beat anyone at any given time. Um, we'll go over some quick stuff here. Troy has 21 conference champions. Uh, USA has none. Troy's bull record of all time is 5-3. and three. USA is 0-2. Oh uh, the 15 point spread would have covered against any matchup prior except for in 2008. And I went over the footages for the whole season this year. I watched two games live on USA. I had two previous bets on them. I went one and one with them. I lost big time against uh, USA getting can't, was a lot of points, 38 or something, or 35 against Memphis or 30, and they got blown out. So that was, yeah, that was just a disaster game for me. And I didn't do my due diligence on that game. I just literally was out there at the casino, and I saw the board buying, and I was like, oh, I like that. I'm going to take that. So it was a win game. I didn't get into it, and I paid the price for it. So all these games I give you here, I, I go into. And uh, I even wanted to do a baseball one, but I didn't get to that point. Hopefully I can. Um, let's go over USA averages, yards play, four yards. Uh, they rush 59% of the time. They pass 41% of the time. The completion rate is 49%. Their third down conversion is 26%, which is very low uh, in all in all things uh, considered. Uh, strength of schedule, they're 112th. And uh, Troy is 5.4 yards a carry. They rush the ball 43% of the time. They pass the ball 58% of the time. The completion percent is 64%, which is huge. This is a big, outstanding um, point out uh, compared to it's the biggest gap I've actually seen more recently. Uh, third down conversion rate is 44%. So 
So they're able to survive a little bit longer, but man, they have a lot of bad plays too. Uh, USA held their own against Georgia Southern last week or two weeks ago, but Georgia Southern is a more run-heavy team. Uh, Troy is definitely a more pass-heavy team, so it's just can they stick it out? Uh, Troy also likes to run uh, three outs, and they'll run down the line, and they'll look to throw over shoulders and right on the line, and they've done pretty good and have had a good success on it. But the thing I do like about USA is they actually the defenders will actually like look back and not just stare at the face shield of uh, the wide receiver, which uh, proves to be pretty good. They don't do it all the time on the film side. They're about uh, most of the time they do. And the free safety wall, of course, he'll he'll be watching the ball the whole time. But uh, look for a quick score from uh, from Troy on that line within the first five minutes of gameplay to go deep. Uh, USA does have success running like a post route into the middle. They like that middle spot. Their quarterback is not good at passing the ball to the outside, unlike Troy's. So it's kind of uh, wishy-washy for both of them. Uh, a little bit of the opposite side scale there. Um, if you were to put the pass perspective into uh, tr uh, USA's quarterback compared to Troy's, they would be about the same numbers except for Troy produces more touchdown big plays compared to, and uh, USA would also... Uh, would have way more turnovers by probably about eight just for this one year. So that's a pretty big uh, difference. But, uh, yeah, so we're looking at some, uh, on paper, from what you normally will see online, it looks like you'd want to take Troy. But USA almost wins on every single defensive stat. They hold teams to a lower on third down. They hold them for less yards to carry. So, there's a hidden element that I'm hoping you guys can see through and um, it'll pan out to be uh, um, a benefit for USA's side. Um, on away, uh, USA is 120th at home. Troy is 99th ranked. They average 34.6 points a game. Uh, USA averages 16. And, but in this close-up matchup, USA plays Troy always pretty close. And like I said, the 15 points only would have covered in 2018. So they're coming back now. And usually it's hard to beat the same team twice by the same element. So you're actually getting a couple free points on the USA side. So both teams are better second half than first half. But do look for, like I said, two quick touchdowns or a quick touchdown uh, on the side. Or running right down the line. So... Uh, that was my breakdown of Troy versus uh, USA, and I hope you enjoy it. And comment if you think I'm right or if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you.